<laughs> well, there's a lot of excitement building around this celestial event, Ananda. ABC 10 meteorologist Carly Gomez explains how this happens and the historic connection the moon has to the Earth. The moon is actually going to be glowing a coppery red color. Most of North and South America will have front row seats to a total lunar eclipse for 90 minutes Sunday night. NASA moon scientist Dr. Ryan Watkins says it's not super rare, but several conditions do need to be met. A total lunar eclipse occurs when the sun, earth, and moon align, and the earth blocks the sun's light and casts a shadow on the surface of the moon. Watkins says with evolving lunar technology, NASA continues to get a better look at our own planet as well as other planets in the inner solar system. By studying the chemical composition of the rocks we bring back from the moon, we can have a little glimpse into the early infancy of Earth's geologic history as well. The moon has been a source of awe and wonder now and throughout history. It's really a part of human nature, not only to explore, but to understand more about where we came from. The partial lunar eclipse begins at 7.27 p.m. and the total lunar eclipse will begin at 8.29 p.m. here on the West Coast.